Good afternoon, everyone, residents of Linden. I am very pleased to have this opportunity to speak to you, the populace, about developments uh, within Linden. I must say that I am 50% pleased, 50% displeased with um, development in the mining town of Linden. I believe uh, we could have been uh, further in what we wanted to achieve um, if we should have everyone on board uh, with us. But it's a work in, pro in progress and the council has been um, a new council in office and we've learned a lot over time. But what I'm happy with is the speed and the momentum in which we are gradually uh, picking up. In the first week in office, I must say we managed to up the subvention that government would give to Linden from $11 million to $16 million. Um, we, within the first month, uh, we lobbied. Linden was not part of the um, original uh, set of municipalities to receive a tract and skip bins. Um, the council argued its way and um, that we should be included and yes, right away, we were, we were given a tract and skip bin within the first month and that bin is being used and the tract is being used. We are currently looking to put an end to the garbage disposal situation in the community and we've been trying to do this. We don't have the finances as the township would know that the municipality received or inherited a debt of, of over $200 million. And we've been working to get rid of that so that we can um, offset expenses um, and raise salary for our workers. We're looking to do more within the community. So we decided to go after things that will bring finances into the community, such as the return of the toll boot, which was taken away from us under the previous regime. And um, that it was reported that that stifled this community um, developments within Linden very much because small projects that we would want to undertake such as repair of roads etc uh, repair of small machinery repair of the um, compactor trucks that we have we could not have afforded those so those trucks were done for a very long time well the toll boot is designed to bring relief to the township of Linden and uh, persons who are using the roads of Linden, especially the persons who are coming from out of town, who are residing um, out of Linden, that are coming into Linden to transport their logs, um, etc., with these big trucks. That would cause some amount of distress on our roads, and in some case, a lot of cases, um, damages to our roads. We have to recover in some way. Um, assistance. There is no way the municipality should be made to pay millions of dollars for the repairs and um, uh, within the township that is and we receive nothing um, in return which has been the thing um, going on within our town for many many years that we're receiving let's say one percent and we're receiving one percent and we are um, paying out um, 99 percent we cannot survive um, in such a way nor in such a manner so there's no way Lindeners will be heavily taxed uh, from the toll booth. Only twice per year, uh, with consultation with the Linden Chambers of Commerce and the business themselves, the local businesses that are involved in the heavy duty um, equipment and they have the use and the need for trucking, etc. Twice yearly, they will make a small contribution and that will be something that will be negotiated between the council and the business in. Um, in association with the Linden Chambers of Commerce. So it will be a way of giving back to the community for these businesses who are asking only twice per year to give something back into the township. Um, it's nothing like every time persons are passing there, nor taxi drivers and all of these things like we're hearing. It's no such thing, all right? It's the vehicles that are out of the town coming into Linden with heavy, the heavy duty, um, vehicles on the schedule and vehicles that are coming into the township to sell goods. Um, persons in Linden have been complaining for many years that the trucks would just come into Linden, they would park up and they would just sell and, and leave, but they have to give something back to the community. 
So those vehicles are the ones uh, we will be targeting and not the liners, liners not the liners shops, etc. So we don't expect any rise in, in cost or any hardship um, on the township. And we're looking to have everyone on board because why is this toll booth important? It's important because at the moment the town council, um, our earnings and our income is very, very low compared to the output and the expenditure which we have on our hand to take care of certain things such as the daycare which is underfunded. Uh, we have the roads to patch which we cannot even afford to patch roads. In fact, the council is in such a bad shape that we can't even afford uh, fuel for our vehicles to just go and do some simple work. In fact, we are borrowing equipment. We are asking for help. Uh, one young man came from overseas and sponsored fuel for our borrowed excavator and bobcat to do some much needed work within the, uh, within the community. The work you, you would have seen, uh, which we did at Wutuka, the work we did at Richmond Hill, the work we did from the Karakara Bridge um, coming down, that's in Karakara. The work we did around uh, Rainbow City area. A lot of these um, are work that, and we did some work also on the Wisma Shore, right? A lot of these are uh, work done on borrowed equipment, borrowed tools. So, because we cannot afford to pay for that. Work done in Amelia's Ward, on the road and so on. We had to, this is borrowed equipment. Um, helping to do these things but we want to own our own equipment and I think by now you would notice that with two pieces of borrowed equipment the amount of work we did as a council much less if we have our own, our own. so I am asking your support and I know Lindeners would understand that we need to develop Linden we are looking seriously at moving Linden from and this would wouldn't take a year but this would take some time but we need to move Linden from a township to a city and to do this, we need to develop our infrastructure. And to do this, we would need everyone on board. First, the citizen to buy into the plan and the programs that we are looking to achieve. Uh, we need the government um, to get on board with us. We need the private sector. We need um, overseas investors. And one of the things we're doing as a council, since we know we're cash trapped, we're looking into twinning. And we're looking at twinning with Newark, USA. We're looking at twinning with um, Ascension in Paraguay and we're looking at twinning with Peru we're looking at twinning with um, Shangxing in China of which I will be um, there shortly to deal with these um, twinning and out of the twinning we're looking at several things um, with Brazil we're looking at port development we're looking at um, agriculture cooperation we're looking at land development um, municipal support from the various cities we're looking for support from them where we can have um, compacted trucks and other equipment to um, eliminate the garbage disposal uh, problems we have and since Linden is a, um, a sports oriented community we're looking at student and sports exchanges of which we should have one coming up before the end of the year with the city of Newark into university exchange program and developing a university center in Linden to eliminate the steady travel of students from Linden to Georgetown, the costly travel, I would say. We are working on that. And we, we, it comes with time, but we are putting initiatives in place to make this happen. So the business of the council is not only about picking up garbage. The business of the council is in um, total, total development of this community. Right? We're looking at economic and youth development. We're looking at um, advancing Linden as a technological hub. And guess what? Panasonic has already indicated their interest and we have to follow this up through um, his, uh, the Honorable Mayor uh, Raz Baraka of um, New Jersey. Right? So we're looking at uh, an overall holistic development of this town and we'd love for the township to buy in to uh, this development. And I want to always be a mayor that is uh, connected to the people and I will be the first. In fact, I've been giving out my cell phone numbers because I want residents, whenever you text me, just text um, resident, I'm a resident, and you can always let me know what's going on in your communities. I've started this group called um, Lindeners and I would love for you to communicate with me on 626-2614 via WhatsApp 
626.614 because I want to remain connected to the people and um, you have a way of connecting with me directly. Lindeners, we're all in this together and I pray God that we can develop Linden together.